Welcome Aquarius to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 23rd of October. We know that it's a very complex world these days and there isn't always a lot of kindnesses shared. But you know, you could be the recipient of someone's thoughtfulness right at the start of this week or something may come back to you. It could be linked to some kind of saving or insurance product Maybe it's to do with your property or where you live. Maybe a family member is going to be very supportive to you. But also at the end of last week, Mercury moved into the most visible part of your situation, the 10th house. When that happens, it can create opportunities to learn new skills, particularly in relation to the world of work. If you're uh, in a situation where you're wanting to adapt past experiences and knowledge into a new area, that could be very valuable. Now, Scorpio, the host, is of course very psychological. So maybe this will be a challenge to test yourself out in the way that you can grow and evolve. But it's supported from Monday by the sun. The sun is a, a really excellent energy for you if you're wanting to raise your profile. If you're someone who has a lot of self-belief, that's going to be supercharged in the next four weeks. If you're someone who tends to be a bit tentative about uh, seeking the limelight, have much more confidence about the uh, awareness that people are going to have for the qualities that you bring. Now, they're both uh, joining up with Mars, which is already uh, showing you the way forwards in terms of where to be more authoritative. It could be in all sorts of situations. If you need to play the role of a leader, Mars is definitely helping. But as this week goes on, Jupiter is faced by the advancing Mercury and Mars. If you do have an interview or you do a presentation, you can come across with a great deal of conviction, persuasion and enthusiasm, which could impress those in the know. But what the position of Jupiter, Uranus and the lunar eclipse on Saturday are saying is that whatever goals and achievements you may want to attain, it's also really important to be in touch with the more human part of the journey. Now I feel of all the zodiac signs, you're very conscious of this anyway. I just read something on Facebook where uh, someone I know was sharing, I don't want to be uh, confronted with a self-serve checkout. I don't want to order my food on an app and so forth and so on. I want the human connection. And I think you're aware of that, but there's also another part of you that can flex and adapt to the changing mores. But I think what the lunar eclipse is saying is that how you feel about things, where you live, who you live with, are going to be very important ingredients of the next six months journey. But because the solar eclipse is in your ninth house of expansion, there's another part of you that does want to be more daring. So you have to try and make these two very different energies somehow uh, collaborate with one another. So where you do feel that you want to be more risk-taking and independent, always keep in mind about how it feels, your need for security. But if you are wanting to just make some straightforward progress in terms of your career, applying for jobs, promoting your business or yourself, the next four weeks definitely give you a fantastic platform to do so.